I'm joined here by the guys from the Magical Crypto Friends show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about the show. You guys basically get together and talk techie, nerdy things. We spoke to our producers and they said that we had a real shot at being on Netflix. And, you know, that's why we put this together. And then, of course, the, the Harvey Weinstein scandal broke. And so, that broke your heart. So like, the deal went through for your, your um, show. It fell apart. Totally. We had to take a, a break and go to Mexico and... Tijuana? Uh, well, close. And, you know, we just had to, like, rediscover ourselves both as people and as the cast and family, really, of the Magical Crypto Friends show. Well, it's great to see you guys repairing friendships. The show is stronger than ever. What made you guys want to start doing this, really? I think... I'm going to ask someone more serious. Uh, Samson? I'm not serious. Some, <laughs> someone tweeted you guys... Charlie? I think we were just four of the biggest trolls on Twitter, crypto trolls, and someone's decided, someone tweeted saying that you guys should all do a show together. And we're like, wait, that's an awesome idea, and we just did it. We don't we click don't at all. I think that we share very similar views on the important things, on the fundamentals. It means that we can argue about and discuss things and disagree on things that are, are less important, but we can still educate about the things that are truly important. And it's a lot of fun. The only problem is that we can only do it like once per month because we're also busy. So yeah. it's a very decentralized show. It is a mix of nerdy tech talk that you learn a lot from. And then there's some things that you don't learn much at all. And you guys are just screwing around for an hour. Uh, but it's really, really fun. You guys all have nicknames, which are animals. Did they come about after the show or before the show? Well, for me, obviously, it was before a show because I was Will Panda. So, uh, and for Charlie, the chicken is also quite obvious with the Litecoin. It yeah, also, also existed. Like unofficial, unofficial Litecoin mascot. So, how did that come about? Uh, came from like a meme, a rice chicken meme that people were posting when they wanted the, they wanted the Litecoin price to go up. I don't know how that came about, but it just caught on. My handle is Excelion, so mm -hmm. there's a lion in it. Yeah. And uh, you're a fluffy pony, obviously. Uh, I've had the fluffy pony nickname for like well over a decade, so. You guys have an awesome opener. I'll play a track now. Okay, that was a great opener. Um, <laughs> who, who made that for you? That was excellent. I directed it. What are your future plans for the show? Uh, there's going to be some conflict. Fluffy Pony and Charlie are going to have at each other and... I'm excited to see fisticuffs um, and also because Charlie's just such an aggressive person. Behind the scenes he's yeah. like, he's the behind worst. Behind that chicken mask is an angry chicken. He's the, he's the worst. The truth comes out here. I keep it off screen so no one, no one knows. What is a blockchain? It's like a chain of blocks. I mean, <laughs> the, the, hint, the hint is in the name. The, and the, the, ch the chain of blocks, the blocks are cryptographically linked. So like from the beginning to the end, they all follow each other like a snake. And uh, the, the blocks can contain things like transactions. And all love, okay, is <laughs> the chain of love. And, and it is typically secured by proof of work so that even though multiple chains um, or multiple forks of the chain might exist, the true one is the one with the greatest cumulative proof of work difficulty. Why does Bitcoin have value? Because it's uh, limited. It's only like 21 million uh, are going to ever be created. So if I make like just 21 million of these uh, mic flags, suddenly they're going to be used as currency? Yes, obviously. Excellent. I am going to be so rich. Well, if you can get a buyer for that, if you can give it. No, obviously, it's also the proof of work that is going to, is giving value, um, the fungibility of it. Bitcoin is, it's like gold, but better. So um, why does gold have value? Right. So it's mainly because it's a best form of money and that gives it value. It's the gold to Litecoin silver. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most valuable aspect of blockchain technology? Is it currency? Is it smart contracts? Is it something else entirely? It's, it's brought us great friends <laughs> along yes. the way. To give a serious answer to your question before we give all the terrible ones. Yeah, thanks, Samson. Uh, <laughs> I think the, the thing that blockchain has really brought about 
is the world's first sound money and it's money where you are in control of your money and nobody else can censor your transactions and no one can take it away from you with like short of beating you over the head and taking your private keys. And I see it as a store of value so um, that you can just go to another country with just like a sentence in your head and uh, you can carry as much money with you as you want. So it gives you freedom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, censorship resistant, I think, is what is the most valuable thing about blockchain. Where do you guys see blockchain five, ten years from now? What's, what's the space going to look like? More ICOs, probably. <laughs> I hope less coins, less tokens. Um, I hope that a few will survive, like uh, obviously Bitcoin, maybe Litecoin, Litecoin and Monero. Litecoin and Monero. Monero. Um, no, but with the, like, I'm seeing a pattern here. The three coins on your T-shirt will survive. Yeah, so I, I see that. Uh, I, I hope that will be more like um, less fractured. For anonymity, we have Monero. Um, for I don't know what Litecoin actually does. Um, we have something for smart contracts. What does Litecoin do? Litecoin so, is a better version of Bitcoin. So for every category, there will be one major coin, and the rest will slowly die off. Yeah. I don't think blockchain will matter that much because people will realize it's Bitcoin that is the innovation, not the blockchain. Um, I think that blockchain hype will you know, fade away and people will focus on the cryptocurrencies. I think five to ten years we'll have less Lambos, more hover cars. That's all I can really hope for in the blockchain space. Thank you guys so much for chatting. It is absolutely invaluable getting your perspective on blockchain, what it is, what the future looks like, and I'm so grateful to chat with you today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Excellent. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, subscribe to Naomi's YouTube channel. <laughs> Best endorsement ever. Magical crypto. All around me I see big blockchain.